to complete the marker for Burgle. And I've gotten my breakfast, I've gotten my fluid intake for the day, I've got a full four drop canteen, I got a couple of shakes. You know what? Let's uh let's do a couple of more shakes here. Oh you know what? I already have some extras of my I ran out of beefy. The beef uh, muscle sprouts. I ran out of those, so I have a couple of regular cream machines, but just in case I run into some trouble, let's create a couple of regular rage. And I'm not sure what I ran out of. Probably mandibles. I didn't keep a big stock of those. Yeah, that's why I'm out of mandibles. So, I'll go and get some of those later. Back to the plank location. And in case you don't know, you don't have to carry the items in your inventory to make smoothies and whatnot, as long as your smoothie station is within range of your storage chests. Same thing with your ovens. Your looms and grinders all still must, you still got to carry that stuff in your pack. And let me go ahead and get those. And I've only got three. Move that out of the way. So we'll get five of those. And shrooms. We need a stack of eight. So I'm just going to take a stack of ten and put two back. leave my ovens to finish baking. I like to keep my my mushroom slurry production ahead of my brick production. Alright, so the plank is this piece of wood that's kind of leaning up on something right here. That is the plank. And I like to make life easy. So, in order, instead of running through the whole yard to get where I need to go, I have pathways built to pretty much in every direction. I've got one going from A to the star, and then from A almost to the picnic table. I'm not done with that one yet. And then off of the one going to the picnic table, I've got running over to the barbecue grill, to that wall over there. Um, Eventually, I'm going to make my A base is going to be a tower, kind of like the Grand Central Station, and I'm going to have paths running all different directions. And I even have a path running from the one of my floors, third floor, I think, from my castle here, running out to a log for easier access to the pond. But this this path is not; it runs all the way to the porch. But I don't have I haven't completed any kind of ladder or any way to get back up to it. So once you jump off, you're off. And you're on your you're up to your own devices. But eventually I will fix, I will finish it. Um, because at the end, I'm going to have one section going down to the porch. Then I'm going to have another section going up towards the top of the hedge because that's some place I've never been and I really want to check out the top of the hedge. I have been in the Broodmother's Lair, but I have never summoned her or had the bait to summon her. Alright, let's take a look at the map and see where we're at. Okay, we're almost... We should be able to see the plank from up here once we get close enough. Yep, there it is. Right below us. That's the plank. So we're just going to drift down onto it using the handy dandy dandy lion tuft and we're going to make a quick little save. I only keep two saves, the auto save and, the, and a manual save. And in case you're wondering about the unknown, why it's they're listed as unknown, because once, for some reason, once you finish the hedge, 
all of your saves from that point on are no longer recognized once you finish the hedge lab quest. Oh, hey. You must know I was coming, huh? That's all right. I ain't scared of you. Don't hide now. That's all right. She'll be back. Oh, you know what? I didn't bring anything to make. I gotta go find some clover, sprigs, which everything seems to be right in front of me. I don't really need your whip, but now I'm gonna go and take her out. What the hell? Bastard. And that appears to be a larvae over there. Here she comes. Let's go ahead and get rid of her. away and my slurry away, so we're going to drop that stack as well. And we are going to catch the attention of this larvae. Oh, he looks like he's jammed up. That's alright, I'll take it. And let's make a quick little save. We are going to get some sprigs. Watch out for lawn mites. I don't really need his parts, I don't think. Alright. Give me one second, guys. I gotta answer a text. Okay, I'm back. Thanks for waiting. And let's go collect this arrow and clover. There's some clover in there. And I'm sure there's probably some uh, plant fiber handy. We're going to drink stamina. time you'd see plant fiber all over the ground. And that's what we need to create our marker for my cliff. And I like to make them red and tag them with the flag. And there's that. So now all I have left for Burgle is 
to kill four, my, four more larvae, which... I do know that there are some over this way. So we're going to make a quick save, so we don't have to go through any of that again. And I'm going to go ahead and kill this video since this video is titled Plank Cliff. <laughs> 